Vin leaned on the shaft, hobbling with Marsh and Sazed toward the Lord Ruler. The crawling figure reached the edge of the room, overlooking the city through the shattered window. Listen. Listen, he who would have been our god. Do you hear them cheering? Those cheers aren't for you. This people never cheered for you. They have found a new leader this evening, a new pride. My obligators. Your obligators will forget you. I will see to that. The other Inquisitors are dead, slain by my own hand. Yet the gathered prelates saw you transfer power to the Canton of Inquisition. I am the only Inquisitor left in Luthadel. I rule your church now. <laughs> no. Marsh, Vin, and Sazed stopped in a ragged group, looking down at the old man. In the morning light below, Vin could see a massive collection of people standing before a large podium, holding up their weapons in a sign of respect. The Lord Ruler cast his eyes down at the crowd, and the final realization of his failure seemed to hit him. He looked back up at the ring of people who had defeated him. You don't understand. You don't know what I do for mankind. I was your god, even if you couldn't see it. By killing me, you have doomed yourselves. Vin glanced at Marsh and Sazed. Slowly, each of them nodded. <laughs> the Lord Ruler seemed to be aging even further. Vin leaned on Sazed, her teeth gritted against the pain of her broken leg. I bring you a message from a friend of ours. He wanted you to know that he is not dead. He can't be killed. He is hope. Then she raised the spear and rammed it directly into the Lord Ruler's heart. Ah! <laughs>